Welcome back to Bike Week America. This is Beaner, and I'm in Southeast Asia. But you stay right where you're at. There's more Bike Week America coming up next. Okay, Kevin Bino, one of the friends of the show. Welcome back to Bike Week America. I'm your host, Dan Nolan, and we got a bunch of surprises today. Yeah, we're pretty much a surprise every week, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, uh, we do uh, a live show here from Chicago, broadcasting live from the shadows of the John Hancock Center with a bunch of fun. I have a surprise that I haven't been talking about all week, um, a lady that you're going to want to meet. And I also have a surprise who's going to help me with news today. I think we're going to do something like that. Let's get this party started. Hi, my name is Dan Nolan. They call me Mr. Hippie. Uh, my right name is Mr. Hippie. Uh, Lori is on her way on assignment. Let's call it that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do everything with Mr. Luke Pennings today. Luke Pennings, thank you very much Good for stepping you, brother. in, brother. Thanks. You, Glad to be here. You rock. Um, in case you don't know who Luke Pennings is, Luke is one of my brothers who I've been riding with. Jeez, I think I'm on um, my three, four, five. I'm on my fourth Ride Janie ride, and Luke is the actual organizer of Ride Janie ride. It has become one of the biggest events in Chicago. Yes, I know we're a national show and everything. Everybody who's tuning in, um, I know that the UK is tuning in. I know that Lindsay's tuning in. I know that all these people are tuning in. Andy, thank you for the support. I'm glad you checked in. But tonight it's about Luke. And tonight... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> this got to Chicago today. So mm -hmm. we're going to do a little bit about Chicago. Um, we had some uh, real bad... Uh, I think the only news that I want to go with, because I want to spend as much mm -hmm. time with you as I can, um, Jackie Plans mm -hmm. um, became an angel. One of our, one of the ladies who, you look at her and it's like that smile is just so infectious. Mm -hmm. um, on the 27th, Jackie didn't make it home. And as you know, this show is about getting everybody home getting everybody another day. And we want to send our condolences to the family and friends of Jackie Plans and Don. Uh, I know you survived, and I anything that Bike Week America can do for you and the family, count us in. Um, we're very sorry to hear that. That is sad. It is. And I also found out that uh, one of my ride brothers had a birthday. I had It was like the day after mine. Um, <laughs> Mike DeVersa, who helps me with Thunder Roads, yeah. uh, it, he had a birthday. He's like, hold it. You're like a day after me? It's like, yeah, we're Taurus brothers almost. <laughs> so it was really weird to have somebody say, oh, okay. So I, I know it's like there's a lot yeah. of things going yeah. on. So Small I just wanted it. to make those quick announcements. That's the news for today. All Excellent. Right. Oh, let's do one more. All right. Um, um, accident scene management uh, is a basic cl class that uh, is put on by the Illinois Road Docs. Um, it's a class about how to take care of somebody when they have a illness or a sudden uh, catastrophe happen. Um, as motorcyclists, we typically have issues with the road and maybe some diabetic, you know, yeah. kind of imbalances and things. Overheating that, on a hot day. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> tell me, mm -hmm. <laughs> two two ice bottles exactly. and yeah, yeah, we mm -hmm. we've been known to take care of others when we're out on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, Excellent scene management has another class uh, on the Saturday over at Cabela's. Mm -hmm. uh, the road docs do a class every first Saturday of every month. Um, if you need more information, here, and we'll do this. I'll put something there later, mm -hmm. uh, how to contact us, yep. and we'll take care of you that way. But we do, and you're all about safety. You know, you know that it. ASMI is always... Absolutely. It, it, I can't say anything better about taking care of your brothers than to take the class, because mm -hmm. that's true brother, brother, brotherhood and sisterhood. What to do right, what not to do oh, and, and to, hurt, to, to, to make the situation worse. <laughs> that, yeah. That's key. Nobody should suffer more injury because somebody right. did nothing. Right. That is, uh, after I saw that the classes were out there, I mean, I was sucked mm -hmm. in. It's like Absolutely. somebody has to do something. Let's do it logically. Yep. Let's do it legally. Let's do it so that nobody more gets right. hurt. Right. Great class to take. So Agreed. more information about ASMA, I'll have it there for you. Okay. Now this is the Luke show. Now the <laughs> Luke show starts. So Luke Pettings, thank you for, uh, because I've had a plethora of behind the scenes activities, you know, mm -hmm. showing up early, yep. you know, uh, 
I, I'm glad to be in the parking lot whenever mm -hmm. you have uh, the Ride Janie Ride event. Yeah. Why don't you tell me what's going on for Sunday? Give me an idea of what's going oh, on for Sunday. What's What's been going on is is uh, 10 months of planning with, yeah, right? with, with a team uh, and my board of directors and, and so many volunteers. Uh, you know, when, when we left off last May, we, we started planning again already in July for, for 2015. And, uh, you know, there's, there's a, a very... Um, lengthy process, a vetting process to where we go through, uh, we take nominations on our website and uh, you know at, at a period of time we, we, we end the nomination period and uh, we, we begin to reach out to folks who have been nominated and then we go through a vetting process where there's there's some background checks and some financial and we, we collect information to make sure that the folks that uh, we are going to support financially are, are the most in need. And so uh, then there's an interview process, a face-to-face -face interview process, and we as a board um, decide how we're going to uh, and how many we're going to support, and we move forward with the ride. So this year we have uh, Tyler Hand, yep. uh, Ann Wagner, and Alex Vila, yep. uh, who are going to be the honorary recipients. Can yep. you call them the honorary recipients? Ab absolutely. This is their year, uh, 2014. So they made all the vetting and they came through yes. on the other side. Yes. So and this so, is, and the folks that these are just the three that we're writing. We're writing for everyone. Correct. But these are the three who will, we'll see on Sunday. Correct. And so the folks who who weren't selected this year, they're considered for 2015. There so, you go. There so you go. we we don't you know one and you're done. That's that's not the way we work. It's the fact is is I've already began the 2015 process already with folks who are on the website. So it, it's it's not going to slow down. It's it, we're only going to continue to keep this process rolling, so it doesn't become such a a rush or a glut to try to make this process happen. You know, it's it, slow and easy. It wins the race. <laughs> it, it it almost sounds like a full time job, but you have it a is. full time. I job. do. I do have a full time <laughs> job. I'm I'm an IT geek. Um, I've been working for a company called uh, a Clarity Solution Group here in Chicago, and uh, I, I really enjoy the company and. This time they've given me a challenge to go out and work in Los Angeles. That's a lot of traveling. So I travel. Yeah. Yes, I travel. I travel Monday through Thursday, and I'm back in town. And uh, it, it's it's been a handful. It's a challenge. It, it must be a lot of work. It is. It is. But the fact of the matter is, is I have a ton of support from my board. Tell me what that looks like. Tell me how so, this whole thing works. So this whole thing works. You know, eight years ago. A uh, good friend of ours, uh, you know, Janie, she she was um, diagnosed with, with cancer. And uh, this group of people, we tried to do something to show her our love and support. And so us being motorcycle enthusiasts, what, what a better way to do it than to try to put a fundraiser together for Janie and go do something cool like that. And I'll tell you what, my, my expectation was that we, we would have, you know, 100 or 150 motorcycles, and maybe I could raise, you know, $10,000 or so. But i tell you what, um, the, the outpouring for um, a Downers Grove resident from the, the, from the people who lived in and around Downers Grove was just amazing. And the word of mouth, and, and you know, this is back in the day before there was Twitter and Facebook. And it was right, it was right. it was myself on a PowerPoint building a, a flyer, and emailing that flyer, and the the folks that we had, you know, um, Doug and Amy Austin and Dominic and Pam Thomasoni and and Brandon and and Greg and Gail Mellinger and Alan Cher Conrad and my wife Judy, we pounded the pavement. I mean, we were going door to door to coffee places and places such as that that would that would help us, you know, get the word out about our our ride. And on the day that it happened, unbelievable. I, I had 500 motorcycles. It was just, it was overwhelming to me. And, um, you know, we, we, changed, we changed the course a little bit and gave uh, Brandon and Jane two days' notice to say, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna run these bikes by your house. At that time, I really wasn't sure how many bikes I was going to have. But, so we're going to ride these bikes by your house. Why don't you just come on out and wave? And, oh, my Lord, the bikes just kept coming and coming and coming on by Janie's house. And, I tell you what, my wife and I were on the back, and we were just bawling like babies, and oh, it was God. just the emotional, the emotional charge That's, was was the, was the was the payback. And it's always emotionally yeah, charged. I mean, is. I come away from Ride Janie Ride with a full heart, knowing mm -hmm. that some good has come in this world. Mm -hmm. Whether I had a magnificent piece of, or, or, or just there, 
I came home with a full heart. Yeah. And yeah. the forward, that, how we, how we pay it forward? Yes, we pay it forward. It is just amazing mm -hmm. because, you know, these yeah. big burly bikers are hard. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. And I'm not the only one to yeah. say I cry at these things yeah. because yeah. it's just so emotional. I, and I think to those... see that somebody's so out there yeah. to give. Agreed. And those biggest, big oh, burly guys are, they have hearts of gold. And, uh, and and their their emotions and feelings are real like everyone else. And so right. when 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 the when the folks show up, you know, we've had um, the outlaws. They're they're very, they're they're people. They have their people. own game. They have their own colors. They have their own way of living life. But they're very supportive of us. And exactly. so I mean, you know, you look at these people who want to come out and help us, and it, it's just amazing. And you know, to me, when when you have a stranger come up and and talk to um, a little girl and give her a pat on the back and tell her, you know, everything's going to be okay. And this guy is six foot four and he's got a beard down in the middle of his chest and he's crying, talking to these little girls. It's amazing that I, that, that's it, where I get to it. me, it brings, it brings the, the, the non cycling community and the, and the cycling community together. This is a right. common cause, a common goal. And, and, and we have a common vision. I would like you to take a call. Sure. I have a special surprise for you. Sure. Anyway, we can get this caller on the air. Um, hi, thank you for calling Bike Week America. Don't cuss, we're live TV. And that would you be got you. Me? Yep. Cool. Hi, who's actually, this? I'm calling for, uh, I'm one of the directors actually with Ride Jane Ride. It's Doug Austin. Hi, Doug. Hi, How Doug. are you? How are you guys? Good. Good. Excellent. More importantly, I'm just wanting to know. Uh, if I really want to go to this ride, how do I do that? Do I uh, sign up online at ridegenieride.org? Or, uh... <laughs> Would you believe that's uh, we're here? That's down here. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take yes. It's uh, go ahead and tell uh, tell everybody why we have a chance. So yeah, so uh, you, you can Thanks, Doug. you can learn a lot of information on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter, and you can also visit us on our website at uh, www.ridejanieride.org. Oh, and so it has all you know so, uh, some slideshows and some videos, and more importantly, it gives you information about the ride, and it gives you a, a very easy uh, step by step method to sign up for our, for our ride. You can sign awesome. up your group. Um, you can sign up individually. Um, and you can pre-register. You can pre-register. And, and I you highly, can pre-register and not yeah. show up and it's okay still. Yes, yes. it is. Yes. <laughs> but, but I, I highly recommend we that, you, uh, that you sign up and register now. That looks oh, like, yeah. God bless us, it looks like we're going to have some pretty okay weather for, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. It's yeah, yeah. going gonna to be a little chilly, but it's going to be sunny. It's going to be dry. And to I me, that's dry. the most important thing, in my opinion. It's the wild card. You got the wild card it, in your pocket, it, brother. It, it, really, <laughs> it, really, it really is. It really is. And, you know, there's our volunteers have been collecting our corporate sponsors, and they've been collecting raffle items, you know, uh, Mike and Kathy Stump and, and uh, uh, Don, Don uh, Breckenridge and Judy Camperman. And there's been so many folks to list that, uh, that have helped us uh, the O'Leary family—they've come out and and helped us. Oh, I love that picture. It's one of my one of my yeah, favorite why don't pictures. Yeah, do me something quick here. Explain who this is. So that that is the uh, one of the most amazing people I think I've ever met in my life. That's Janie O'Laney. Um, that that was probably four or five days after she had gotten out of out of the hospital after she had had her stem cell transplant. Janie so, O'Laney, hey, Jan ride Janie, ride Janie O'Laney. Boy, would that be funny if yeah, we had her in the yeah, studio J J today, J huh? Janie, Janie's amazing. She, uh, she, uh, she came out, and uh, and that's when all these motorcyclists rode by her house. And uh, I tell you what, it was it was the most uh, electrifying day of, of my life. Can't and look at me. that! <laughs> and look at that! Yay. And we got Janie, Janie O'Laney. Honey, thank you so much. Thank I, you. I am so thank thrilled. You to have you here and in the studio. It's, How's that sound? It's an, honor, <laughs> it's an honor and a pleasure to be here. So this is a run named after Janie. How does it feel to have an event that you are now pretty much the face of? Well, it, it's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's humbling. I, there's so many words, um, too many words to even try to get out because it did start out about me because this great group of friends wanted to help us because we were in a time of need. And then from there, 
it was so exciting to be able to help other people. Right. And each year as our recipients, you know, were nominated and our recipients were chosen, it was so cool to meet them, learn about their families, and spend time with them and get to know who these people are. Yeah, it's amazing that um, the process is, you know, we help, uh, you know, a, a select few and we are going to continue to work with other people. This is an organization that's giving back to the organization 100%. And oh, absolutely. And you're well part of this. What are you going to be doing? On, you've done a lot of work for this. Tell me what you've done. Well, I have strict orders from my boss, Lou, <laughs> that, you know, what I do every year, I thank people for coming out. You know, I work the crowd. I, I, a lot of people don't know who I am. In fact, I had one year somebody asked me, you know, when did Janie die? <laughs> it's like, right here. Boo! <laughs> 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 Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. But you know, you, you, when you like, you know, when you think of a fundraiser, and it's we've snowballed, and we're eight years now, and, and just people who don't know us, of course, they're going to wonder what is this about, you know. So I, I try to say hi to people. Brandon and I do. My husband Brandon, who also is a, a, a battler and has uh, battled cancer and is winning, which is amazing, and we we say, you know our thank yous and we help our boss we help our our other board of directors do whatever it is they need us to do and hopefully we're going to be riding this year we didn't get to I was, ride last I was going to say are you thinking about getting yeah I hope so. are you riding this year I hope so I, you know last we'll put year, her in front you know we'll put her in front last year we didn't get to ride <laughs> but we got to go to the end point and watch the parade come in that is it was unbelievable. As I go through the ride and see the people on the street just come out and just to, you know, like wave. Oh, and absolutely. It's like, I mean, I think that's getting as big as, you know, the people who come to see the bikes off. And it's just really amazing to see, the, especially the recipients, their families, their friends who are there awaiting this parade of bikes to come in and the roar and the emotions. I mean, it's... It's almost like the cavalry has made it, and it we is. have won. It is. <laughs> it's it really is. like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. No matter what we go through on that ride, whether it's rain, whether you know it's it's cold winds, we always make it, and we have angels that watch over us, and we always, you know, have done something good. We've taken a really bad situation, which cancer is, and we've turned it into something really good. And it's cool. Um, because once the uh, the event is over, uh, we figure out all the number and all the bookkeeping. And Our all bean that. counter, Teresa yeah. Smets, does it, that. It, yep. Everything's handled. Mm -hmm. They get a check. They do. They get a grant from us. Tell me about what they can do with that. Well, a we grant. Leave, we leave yeah. it up to them. We Isn't leave it up. Cool? We leave it up to them. I mean, you might have a, a single mother who needs to get her child to chemotherapy and maybe her car is broken down or maybe she needs a new car and if that money can help her and provide her to get a new car I think that's amazing and, and those are the things that you know when you see this kind of event go on in someone's life these are the gaps that aren't covered by insurance isn't in a budget Absolutely. It, it, it's something that gas if, if I was in the hospital for a month I mean I know Children, leukemia, blood cancer patients, treatment is, is long. It's, it's drawn out. Food's not covered. You know, you. Yes, if a parent like that, is with a child 24 hours a day, they have to, you know, there, there's, there's things they're not doing, they're not working, so we're able to give them grants to I think help them. I think it's really cool that we get the bikers together and we get everybody on the same page. I do too. Kind of pull everybody together to do something positive for this world, even if it's just, you know, just for one day. Because it goes on forever and ever. Oh, absolutely. we plant a seed. I mean, we have recipients who come back year after year, you were Absolutely. Saying. Our past recipients come back. They volunteer. They help us to get raffle items for our raffles. I or love auction that. items. Or they help us, you know, just at the day of the event. And they help actually welcome in our new recipients. When you've got a mom who's three years into it, and you got a new mom that just found out. Oh. The connection oh. they can make. Is amazing the emotional support that comes out of that relationship is long-lasting yeah that's huge and, and I have seen you know like uh, 
like Mike Stump get involved yeah. and how he stays involved and how everybody does that. It's almost like you catch fire with it. And yeah. that's why I'm really honored to have you both in the studio today is because I have been catching Ride Genie Ride Fire. Fever. I've, I've been it's on, a Ride Genie yeah. Ride Fever. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do Sunday? What's your job on Sunday? Sunday is Other my job to up. smile uh -huh. and to just really let everybody know how thankful we are for coming out and supporting us, our, our corporate sponsors, yeah, our strangers. Me, do you have any corporate, what corporate oh, sponsors? We have corporate sponsors that we put on the back of our shirts. Uh -huh. And we work to get those. <laughs> Judy, if you I can see your husband here. now. There's <laughs> <laughs> our but corporate yeah, we, sponsors. We, and, and every year we have repeats, we have new ones, we have people that hear about us. What a great way to advertise, right? You get to advertise. <laughs> Uh-oh. Lou. <laughs> but you I got a volunteer shirt taker offer over here. <laughs> oh my God, it. it's going to be on the internet. <laughs> Facebook.com slash Bike Week America later. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't even shirt back. He would give his shirt off his back for you. That's, that's Lou. True, and it's a great way to advertise. When you're a corporate sponsor, and, you know, we've been in Nashville, and we've seen somebody wearing one of our shirts. Awesome. How amazing is that? And every year it's different. Every right, year right. We have our yeah, initials. Explain that. Explain that. These are our angels. Right. Unfortunately, not everybody beats this battle. And hopefully, I'm not going to get really emotional because this is emotional for us because we get to know these people and they become part of our hearts. And that's oh, why right. they're in our heart here. That's what they're I always on me. our shirt. And it's. Faith Robinson, Colvin Mazur, and Kylie Arnold are our angels. And I, I I, really, truly believe they watch over us every year. That's why it could rain all week and then the weather is just amazing. It's like oh, a perfect storm. I know. Doug Austin Don't say said storm. it's a perfect storm. No, it's yeah, a good storm. It's a warm. A good, yeah, um, no rain. No, no, no rain. No. So this is uh, Ride Janie Ride. It, it is their eighth annual Ride Janie Ride. Uh, the recipients will be on hand. Uh, we're going to be running the ride uh, starting, what, about 11 o'clock? 11 o'clock. We're going to... We're going to be kick starting up, at yeah. uh, kickstands up at 11. We're going to start at the Fox River Harley Davidson, and we're going to take a nice leisurely 14 city ride or mm -hmm. so, and end up at the Iron Horse, uh, which are great sponsors as well too. So absolutely, they go out of their way to make sure that everything is awesome for our our event destination people and our riders. Because, you know, we have families that come. We're family friendly. We have right. people that don't have a motorcycle. Just show and they up. want to know how they can get involved. Yeah. And so they show up at the Iron Horse. Show up at the Fox River uh, Harley Davidson and see Absolutely. them Absolutely. Watch them. Line the streets. And I then, mean, it's really cool to see. And then drive over to the Iron Horse and watch them come in. We will have more information on how you can find uh, uh, ride information. Uh, do we have a ride route? It's all, yes, we have a ride route. We're I will post a ride route so that you can stand on the line and you can watch the ride go through your town. Um, Janie, honey, thank you so much. You're a very huge inspiration. Oh, thank you. Very huge. Thank you for tuning in to Bike Week America. Um, yeah, this one was a real good one. Um, we will have more on Facebook.com. Uh, look, oh, this. this is what it's about, people. Sunday. You. Yes, everybody come out on Sunday, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. No, it's okay, honey. You look good. <laughs> look, you're the man. <laughs>